Did you see that? Hello everybody, this is Nerf Gun Reviewer 331 here today. Today's video, I'm just going to explain what I've gone over with this JT Splatmaster pistol. As you can probably see, I've done some really crazy stuff onto it. I've pretty much glued, taped, and pretty much did everything I could to make it look decently good. But who's going to judge? Uh, maybe Drac or Coop if you ever saw the video, but... I don't think any I don't think any of those high end YouTubers are gonna see that, but anyway. The point I'm gonna to get to is is that I have modified this JT Splatmaster pistol, even though I didn't even do mods in the first place, to shoot nerf darts. Now you could probably if you remember in some of my previous videos and some of the other nerf wars I've done, people have people and myself have chosen this pistol because it shoots nerf darts at a very high velocity and FPS hurts like hell <laughs> and uh wait what can you say it's like it's a one-shot pistol yes but it packs a huge punch to the point it stings whenever you get hurt hit by one of these little uh, nerf darts like any of these well maybe except these anyway uh, i'm just gonna go over what i've done what you see on the outside looks like uh it looks like an airsoft foregrip on this one on the bottom piece of the pistol with of course there's masking tape no glue I couldn't glue this barrel piece on to this piece because it was actually quite difficult to do it with or without glue anyway I have a it looks like a half inch half inch yeah half inch uh, CPVC coupler on the front Give it a little bit of a look, and so I'm going to add attachments to it, such as one of my favorite speed loaders. If I don't want to use, uh, like, speed loaders or regular nerf darts, I take off the coupling and slide some, I think this is half-inch PVC, if I'm correct. And there you go. And it looks a little bit less intimidating. But wait until you shoot one of these. Uh, let's see, what else is, what else have I done to this gun? I have, I have done some dremeling, you probably can't see much of it, but if you look in the front, there is a little bit of chipping here. When I pull it back, I have dremeled out the entire outer shell of this piece, just so the masking, or electrical tape, my bad, the electrical tape can like easily pass through without like like ripping off the barrel or whatever like it did in the past push it forward and oh wow it doesn't even shoot mega darts oops okay so that attachment's useless doesn't matter it shoots nerf darts like a champ and you can always you know, I, I had to get a stock for this gun because it looks like a pretty much an SMG. So if I put the stock on, get some intimidation. Well, of course, intimidation doesn't always work because if you intimidate somebody and then he goes, splat, I mean, the other person's going to fight back. Which is why I made sure this gun will work perfectly. As in perfectly, I mean, I was pretty much forcing myself not to sleep until I made this thing work. Yeah, figure of speech. Anyway. I'm also trying not, not to make this video as humorous as possible, but I'm doing a horrible job at it because my humor is kind of dark. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway. Speed loader. It's the only downside of this. I, can, I gotta like lightly hold it up. So it's like I can't use my foregrip as always. Just gonna lightly hold it up and bam. Take off that. Let's try. What other darts do I have? I have a section dart from Busby. I'll try that one. 
As far as internal uh, mods go, I have not done anything internal. Aside from this little piece here to, to pretty much hold everything in place. Oh yeah. Get shot in the neck with a suction door with this gun. You're going to get a hickey. <laughs> I got to cut that part out. Anyway. Anyway. Um... I don't have any other darts I can demonstrate. I mean, I got these glow-in-the-dark ones, which are pretty crappy, but... Oh, that's as far as, as it goes in? Okay. Nope, those, those will not work. Not even for glow-in-the-dark Nerf Wars. That would be pretty cool, though. To make a long story short, this gun is pretty cool. I wish I had done some internal modding, because I had, at one point, had taken off this blue shell... I had taken out the black piece that holds the blue shell. I was able to basically dive right into the internals. I could have ma easily made this pistol into like a, like a slot, like a, like an Assassin's Creed typed themed dart gun. I could just use my wrist go, that would be pretty cool. However, I did not do that. I just decided to stick to the original idea of using this as a basically a sniper rifle. Then again, Nerf doesn't have snipers. Oh well. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is this is going to be another review. I remember I have the Modulus, Nerf Modulus Tactical Light. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I'm pretty sure it's a Nerf Modulus Tactical Light. I finally made it. I got it to work. So it fla flashes a little green light. And that's pretty much it. I'll review it the next time because it looks like my GoPro battery is dying. And I do not want my camera to die while I'm recording. So I'm going to end the video now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And the re re not really a review of the JT Splatmaster overview uh, Nerf mod, I guess. Not really a mod, even though I didn't really do anything internally. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later.